Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be discussing a little bit about drivetrains and differentials. So first of all, what is a drivetrain? A drivetrain is basically a part of a car. Well, it's not one part, but it's a portion of the car which transmits the uh, which transmits power from the transmission system all the way to drive wheels. And drive wheels are basically wheels that drive the car, i.e. wheels that convert the torque received into traction. Now there are many different configurations when it comes to drivetrains. There's front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, four wheel drive, and each of them are going to have its own separate video. However, we first need to understand the function of some basic parts. One of them being differentials. Differentials are very essential to understanding drivetrains. And in order to understand differentials, I'm going to go to a typical front wheel, front engine, rear wheel drive setup, as it's the easiest setup to explain what a differential looks like. First of all, what does, what does a differential even do? See, when you're making a turn, uh, the inner wheels have to travel at a lesser speed than the outer wheels in order to catch up to each other. This makes sense considering the radius of the outer wheels is much larger than the radius of the inner wheels. So the inner wheels have to travel a smaller distance at the same speed at the same time whereas the outer wheels have to travel at a larger distance at the same time therefore it needs more speed so if you're just gonna have regular standard axles what's gonna happen is that the car is going to slip or it's gonna need to slip in order to complete the turn and that's not exactly what you'd call safe so we have these things called differentials. They split the torque that is received from the transmission 90 degrees into each axle of a given driving wheel. And the function of the differential is to uh, distribute this torque between these two axles depending on what the car is doing. So if the car is going straight, then it'll divide the torque evenly whereas if a car is going at a specific turn then the outer wheel would receive more torque than the inner wheel giving it more speed now here is a typical differential setup here we have an axle that goes from the transmission system and the engine to this rear wheel area where it's in mesh with a ring gear. Now, the ring gear is in the middle of these two axles, which are separate. So it's not one big axle, but rather two parts of an axle. To rotate the axles, we have this thing called a spider gear, which is attached to a ring gear. And it is in mesh with the two uh, pinion gears. So what we have here is basically the setup where the spider gear can either move with accordance to the ring gear or it can rotate on its own axis, which is going to be important in order to split torque. So suppose a given car is going straight. It's not going left or going right. It's going straight. So what we're going to have here is that so both wheels have to travel at the same speed. So what's going to happen is that the spider gear won't spin on its own axis at all. Rather, it'll be in mesh with the pinion gears and it'll all travel as one unit as if it's one big axle. Now suppose you're going to make a right turn. If you're about to make a right turn, that means that you have to have the right wheels traveling at a slower pace than the left wheels. So what we're going to have here is that the spider gear is going to spin on its own axis um, counterclockwise from the top. And what's going to happen when the spider gear spins is that the pinion gears has to match with the peripheral speed of the spider gear. So let's calculate the peripheral speed of the spider gear on its each side. On the left axis, 
axle, it'll be the uh, velocity of its spin plus the velocity of its rotation with the ring gear. But on the right side, it'll be the difference between the two. So what this means is that the left wheel is going to drive itself faster than the right wheel because of a greater peripheral speed. And the same is true but vice versa when you're making a left turn instead of a right turn. And the spider gear would just rotate your spin in the opposite direction. Now usually in a differential system there are going to be two spider gears in order to balance it out. However, the princi basic principle is the same. So that's all there is to it with differentials. Uh, if you want to learn more about drivetrains, about cars, different car parts, physics, uh, or others, uh, other science subjects, then please make sure to like the video and subscribe and leave a comment down below and, uh, and also ring the notification bell so that you are informed with any new content I make. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.